Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Stephanie. I am Tom. Hey, it's our TOEIC unit. It's day two, and we hope you listened to day one. It was about Olivia going uh, to going back to school, and she needed to do some phone shopping before that happened. And she was looking for some good deals, some promotions. If you're going back to school, they usually have a lot of sales during this period of time. So don't pay full price. Keep looking. You've got to find some good deals.、Uh, you want to get something、uh, either for the lowest price possible or for、uh, something where they put a bundle together and you get some items for free. If you know what I mean. Today we're going to talk more about、uh, what it means to pre-order something and maybe、um, having to deal with pickup instructions. For example, if you buy something and they're out of stock. They're going to contact you later and say, "Hey, what you ordered is in. It's、mm. in the store. We've we've received it.、Uh, this is what you need to do." And these are the instructions to do that. Though, guys,、um, we first want to read through today's lesson, and then we'll be back. And Tom will have a lot to say at that point. Stay tuned. Dear customer, thank you for purchasing the iPhone 20 Pro. Due to limited initial stock. We will notify customers in the order of when they made their reservations. Once the phone arrives, please bring your pre-order receipt to our store within five business days of receiving this notification to collect your device. We appreciate your support and patience. Order summary: Pre-order number two zero two four zero nine one one zero five three. Pre-order date. September eleventh, twenty twenty-four. Customer name: Olivia Miller. Contact number: zero nine eight seven six five four three two one. Product name: iPhone twenty Pro Alpine Green, two hundred fifty-six gigabytes. Price: twenty-one thousand nine hundred ninety-nine NT dollars. Back to school promotion. Gifts, wireless charging dock, noise canceling headphones, transparent protective case, valued at four thousand nine hundred and ten dollars. Warranty, extend to a two year warranty for an additional two thousand and ten dollars, covering electrical and mechanical failures due to manufacturing defects. Payment. Six-month installment plan at zero percent interest. Notes: One, safeguard this receipt. Present the original pre-order slip when collecting your item. Digital or paper copies will not be accepted. Two, all products are ordered directly from the manufacturer based on customer demand. Hence, cancellations for personal reasons are not accepted. Three, release dates are set by manufacturers and may change. We are not responsible for any variations in the advertised release period. Four, the estimated arrival date for your phone will be regularly updated on our website. You can track the most current delivery status online. Five, devices can be returned or exchanged for store credit. Within 14 days of acquisition, if the items are unopened and the original receipt is presented. Okay, everybody, let's talk about the contents of today's lesson. Remember, Olivia、uh, has、uh, decided to proceed with her order, and of course, this involves signing a contract, and of、mm-hmm. course, she needs to read some instructions for her new phone. So here are the instructions.、Uh, it's very nice. It says, "Dear customer." Thank you for purchasing the iPhone 20 Pro. Okay, so they're very grateful here that she has made this purchase. Due to limited initial stock, we will notify customers in the order of when they made their reservations once the phone arrives. So sometimes, of course, when a company comes out with a new product, people are really anxious to be the first person to get that product or to buy that product. And so there's a large、True. demand for that product,、mm-hmm. but they don't have enough stock to meet the demand. They don't have enough supply to meet the demand. So this is what happens sometimes. They have limited stock, or at least in this case, it's limited 
initial stock. A stock just means how much stuff they have in order to sell, and of course they need to have things in stock from the factory in order to sell it. If they don't have it in stock, then you've got to order it, and it's going to take some time for you to get your product. And it's a limited stock; they only have so many phones in stock, and you might have to wait. So what do they say? Well,、um, they're going to have to notify customers in the order. Of when they made their reservations, or in the order of when they purchased their phone, really,、um, to let the ones that、uh, bought the phone first to get the first、uh, stock that comes in. That that makes sense. That's the fair thing to do. It's、I、like、uh, first come, first serve. That's right. That's only fair. So they're going to have to notify customers when their phone comes in. To notify just means to inform someone of something. Usually,、uh, you can email, you can text, you can even make a phone call. I'm calling to notify you that your order is in. You can come and pick it up now, or、uh, maybe you couldn't get an appointment with your dentist or your doctor. They were fully booked, and suddenly there there was a cancellation, and so they call to notify you that they can fit you in. So there are different ways to notify people.、Uh, they're going to notify the customers when the phones. When the new stock arrives, when those phones come back in to stock, so please, it says, bring your pre-order receipt to our store. So if you pre-order, you've paid in advance, or perhaps you haven't. I don't know what their policy is.、Uh, usually, if you order something like this, you have to pay in advance. So you bring your pre-order receipt. It's proof that you actually purchased something or that you ordered something. Have to bring it to their store within five days of receiving the notification. Notice that notify is the verb, and notification is the noun. And you have to do this if you want to collect your device. What's a device, Tom? It's、uh, just a machine or something that just、uh, performs a certain function for you. Of course, we have lots of electronic devices that we use nowadays. Of course, the most common one. Is our smartphone, but we also have tablet computers. We have e-readers.、Uh, we have、uh, personal computers. We have a laptop computers. Those are all devices.、Uh, I wouldn't、uh, call a refrigerator a device. That's more of an appliance,、yeah. mm-hmm. or a stove, or an oven is an appliance.、Uh, devices, of course, are things that we use in our personal life. And so, of course,、uh, after you receive this notification, you can collect your device. And we appreciate your support. And patience. Okay, so this is pretty clear here. The customer will understand what they need to do when they receive notification that their product has arrived, that their product is in stock, and now they know what they are supposed to do. You know, you brought up something interesting. I think it's important for foreign learners who are learning English as a a different language, not their mother tongue. A device is kind of interesting. We wouldn't use it. It doesn't have to be a personal item. It could be something like、uh, a can opener in my kitchen. I was just thinking, you know, how how do we define device? Even if you go to the dictionary, it won't list everything that is considered a device. So my、uh, my advice to listeners is just to kind of、uh, pay attention to how people use this. Sometimes we use device to talk about a bomb. There's a device on a bomb that that、uh, can help that bomb explode. Not that we like bombs, but that's something we use it for as well—a device that explodes.、Uh, it, but when we have things like refrigerators and dishwashers, those are appliances. That's a different term we use for that. So keep your ears open. We just have different words for different things, and if you go to the dictionary, you won't find a list, which is frustrating for me when I'm looking up Chinese terms,、mm. and I want to know: Do we use this in Chinese for this? So sometimes just listening to others, paying attention to what you read and listen to, you'll pick up more vocabulary that way. Generally, I think devices have some sort of electronics in them, but again, it's general. As Stephanie said, you should probably learn them one by one. But、uh, for all intents and purposes, here your smartphone is going to be a device.、Uh-huh. Okay, so here's、uh, the summary of the order. Now、uh, the pre-order number is as it says there. I'm not going to read those numbers out loud. I guess they need those numbers to determine the order in which she made the purchase, so she can、uh, know her priority uh, about uh, when she's in line to get her phone、uh, with other customers who get served first, basically. 
The pre-order date was made on September 11th of 2024, and、uh, the customer name is Olivia Miller, and her contact number is listed there. That's her phone number there. And now we're talking about the actual product, the actual device. The name of it is the Ephone 20 Pro Alpine Green with 256 gigabytes of memory. So I think Alpine Green there is referring to the color of the phone, which is nice. I wish、uh, my phone offered some nice color like that.、Uh, usually you only get the choice between black and white, and maybe dark blue or something like that. But never magenta or hot pink or. Cyan or something like that. No, they just usually have some pretty boring colors. Here she's got the alpine green color with a certain amount of built-in memory. Ooh, it's got a lot of memory too. Two hundred fifty-six gigabytes. Now I know in Taiwan you guys would probably say GB, but since English is not hard for native speakers, we say gigabytes.、Mm. Um, or you could say two hundred fifty-six gigs. We'd say that too. So.、Um, You can say 256 GB in Taiwan, but if you go to America or even if you're in the UK where they speak English natively, I would try to work on gigabytes.、Mm. We tend to use the full word. You might be able to get away with G's, 256 G's. Good, yeah. Maybe, but yeah,、uh, gigabytes is the term that will be safest to use. And、uh, yes, indeed, lots of these phones have built-in memory. I don't think they offer the option of、uh, using memory cards anymore. Yeah, they do. Oh, they still do.、Yeah. My wife's phone does not. You're expected to use the built-in memory, and then to back up your memory or your files、depends、in the on, cloud. Yeah, it depends on how much you pay for your phone too. Yeah, mine has、uh, another additional memory. It has two SIM cards. It、okay. depends on your phone. Yeah, it, all the phones and the options they offer are all different. So do a lot of work on that. If you're someone who's a memory hog, a hog is a big pig that eats a lot. If you're a memory hog, and I am, I use I record a lot of things on my phone, meetings and things like that. So I want a lot of memory, so I don't run out. I videotape a lot on my phone、mm-hmm. of kids and things like that that I want to keep. If you're if you're doing that, you're probably going to have to pay a little bit more to get more memory. These are all different features、yeah. of a phone, so that's the memory she has, and the price of the phone. Is for all intents and purposes twenty two thousand NT dollars. Well, Tom, you should probably describe or define what all intents and purposes means. It just means basically,、uh, without、uh, saying a lot of、uh, nonsense, just straight to the point. For all intents and purposes, this、mm-hmm. is the real situation.、Uh, it's going to cost you twenty two thousand NT dollars. It just、mm-hmm. sounds cheaper because they took off one NT dollar to make it sound twenty one thousand nine hundred ninety nine NT dollars. Uh, that is a common marketing trick that they use.、Uh, when I worked at a gas station, for example, the price per gallon was like a dollar nine point nine per gallon or something like that. That was a long time ago when gasoline was that cheap. They're not fooling us, though. We know it's twenty two thousand, but it still sounds cheaper psychologically, even though we know it's actually twenty two thousand. But in any case,、uh, that's the price, and it's telling us specifically that it's part of a back to school. Pr- Promotion.、Yeah. Normally, it would be pr- probably pricier or more expensive than that. Or you'll see signs that'll say "back to school sales."、Uh, those are often、um, interchangeable words. Now, what does it come with? They're going to gift you some things. They're going to put some things into this promotional package or the bundle, and you don't have to pay extra. They're going to give you a wireless docking or a wireless charging dock, which is great, or a Wireless charging station—they'll call them that sometimes. Noise canceling headphones. We talked about that in day one.、Uh, a transparent protective case.、Uh, those cases can be quite pricey. Pricey just means expensive.、Um, but you know what? After I broke my phone screen,、mm-hmm. I went out and got the best protective case I could、mm-hmm. because I didn't want to break the screen again. Those you are, learned your lesson. Oh my goodness! It cost a fortune to replace the screen. And it's hard to be without your phone if that's what you use for your your job, and that's what Tom and I use for our jobs. So these things they're going to gift you are、uh, valued at four thousand nine hundred and two dollars, almost five k, which is nice. What's the warranty, Tom? The warranty、uh, is as follows: extend to a two year warranty for an additional two thousand and two dollars, covering electrical. And mechanical failures due to manufacturing defects. Okay, so again, she was offered the option 
of an extended warranty. The standard warranty was a one-year warranty, but I guess she wanted a little bit longer time. She wanted to make sure that the phone would work, so she was willing to spend a little extra money for that two-year warranty. And so, of course, that cost her an additional two thousand NT dollars. And that warranty covers, or it includes, electrical and mechanical failures due to manufacturing defects. Oh, if, notice it won't cover if she breaks the phone herself. Right, if she drops it on the、uh, ground and it cracks the screen, or if she <laughs> accidentally drops it in the washing machine or in the toilet or something like that, it won't cover that. It covers electrical failures. Electrical means having to do with the electricity in the phone, or mechanical failures, which would have to do with moving parts in the phone. I think phones are mostly electronic these days. I can't really think of any mechanical parts I, of I phones. I can. I can.、Uh, sometimes on our earlier phones, my charging slot that I would、mm -hmm. put my cord into, it would break. Okay. That's mechanical. That's not really electrical. Or the little drawer that holds the cards、oh, yeah, that you pull in、out. and out, or the buttons that release it. Or my my pen. Sometimes I can't get it out. That's more mechanical than electrical. All right. So that's a mechanical problem, and there might be defects, which are small problems that happen, and they may not pay attention to those during the manufacturing process. Sometimes these problems make their way through to the final product. Not always. Okay, I've always had pretty good luck with my phones. I've never had any defects in the phones. Good.、Uh, the damage has always been my own fault, like for dropping it or losing it. That's、yeah. another problem because、uh. I'm not really addicted to my phone as as much as other people are. So sometimes I forget where I put it. No, 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 no. I I use my phone all the time. I left it on the cab seat three times.、So. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So using a lot can get you into trouble. You、too. better put your name and phone number on that phone. I always got it back. Or get a different phone number, not the same phone number. Uh, of the phone itself, because、yeah. I'll just be calling the phone that's lost already. That's kind of stupid.、Mm. But in any case, here, yes, this is、uh, all part of the warranty here, and she has been willing to pay the extra two thousand dollars for the two-year warranty. Okay, they have notes on this for her. Things she needs to pay attention to. Always read those. Those are important.、Uh, they will keep you safe in the long run. Uh, the first one says to safeguard this receipt. To safeguard something just means to keep it safe. Don't lose it. Present the original pre-order slip when collecting your item.、Uh, they will not accept digital or paper copies, so that's very important. You want to keep、uh, keep your hands on the pre-order slip or the receipt or slip. You could call it either thing, but it has to be the original. Right, and they will not accept a picture of it、nope. or a copy from a, a copy machine or whatever. You have to present the original. Uh, note number two here is all products are ordered directly from the manufacturer based on customer demand. Hence, or therefore, cancellations for personal reasons are not accepted. So yeah, this is the reason、uh, that you can't cancel your order. That's because they order them directly from the manufacturer and they cannot return them. So you have to buy it. You have committed to this purchase, so you cannot cancel it. A cancellation is the process of canceling something. Cancellation. Is the noun? Hey, there's been a cancellation. You can go see the doctor now, for example. Right. Number three, release dates. That's when the phone is going to be sent out by the manufacturer.、It、says here they may change.、Um, we are not responsible for any variations in the advertised release period. If the manufacturers change when they're going to send those phones out,、uh, the store is saying it's not our fault. We can't、uh, be re held responsible for that. For the estimated arrival date for your phone, will be regularly updated on our our website. If somebody is estimating something, they're kind of making a, an educated guess. They're not exactly sure. They can't promise this is the exact time. But if it's an estimate, it's a it's a rough calculation that they're making. But it's based on good information that they have estimated.、Uh, number five, Tom. What's that one? Devices can be returned or exchanged for store credit within 14 days of acquisition if the items are unopened and the original receipt is presented. So maybe you've changed your mind. You don't want to actually have the device, but again, they don't take cancellations. You still have to pay for the device,、mm -hmm. but you can return it or exchange it for store credit. Okay, you can't get your money back, but you can get some store credit if you want to buy something else from them. 
and that can be within 14 days of acquisition or when you get the actual item. You need to make up your mind within two weeks whether you want to get store credit or not. Okay, folks, that、uh, comes to the conclusion of the instructions for Olivia's pre-order pickup. Right now, we're going to take a few minutes, listen to our Chinese teacher, and then we'll be back to、uh, take a look at some of these discussion questions. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone. 我是派老师。今天讲解的是九月十九多义单元第二天课程 Unit Eleven Pre-order Pickup Instructions for Olivia's New Phone. 好，我们在第一天课程里面知道 Olivia 已经订了新手机了。那接着呢？他收到通信行的 email 通知，要确认他的订单，也告知 Olivia 到时候要领手机有哪些注意事项。好，那我们一起来看这封 email 吧。前面开头 ，Dear customer, thank you for purchasing the iPhone 20 Pro。第一句是非常简单的寒暄，亲爱的顾客，感谢您购买 iPhone 20 Pro。好，那第二句。Due to limited initial stock, we will notify customers in the order of when they made their reservations. Once the phone arrives, 用英文写 email 要尽量言简意赅，简单问候之后尽快切入重点。所以第二句就开始解释来信的理由。因为第一批库存有限，因此客户领取新机，那通信行会依照先来后到的顺序。陆续提供 on a first come first served basis. 那通讯行会逐一通知顾客 They will notify customers. 好，那接下来 please bring your pre-order receipt to our store within five business days of receiving this notification to collect your device. 接下来就要告诉订购的客户注意事项了。那提醒客户领取的时候要记得带。预购单到门市，这里的 pre-order receipt 指的当然就是这个预购单，而且呢还要注意领取的时间哦。收到这一封 email 通知之后的五个工作天内 ，within five business days of receiving this notification， 那要干嘛呢？就要 collect your device。这里的 collect 就是领取啊，通知客户呢要来领取新的手机。好 ，We appreciate your support and patience. 那在 email 后面不要忘记了，还要感谢客户，谢谢客户的惠顾，还有耐心等候。那下面呢，这个表格我们可以看得到，那就是 Olivia 她的预购单上面一些重要的资讯。左边这个栏位让我们知道说这是哪一些资讯。那右边的这些栏位呢，等于是各个不同的栏目，它的详细的讯息了。好，那我们看到这里倒数第二个栏位 ，warranty 这个部分，保固这个栏位里面的内容非常重要。这里呢就提到了 ，the warranty is extended to a two-year warranty for an additional two thousand anti dollars. Covering electrical and mechanical failures due to manufacturing defects. 好，所以这里有提到消费者加购了延长保固，从原本的一年延长到两年。那消费者需要额外支付两千块的新台币。Covering 是一个重点单字，后面呢是保固的范围。保固的范围包括所有制造瑕疵所造成的电子，还有机械的故障。这里有提到了 electrical and mechanical failures。好，那当然重点要在于是什么？它不是消费者自己使用不当所造成的。要是原厂在制造的时候就有一些瑕疵了 ，manufacturing defects。好，那最后一个栏位 payment。表示的是付款的方式啊，后面写的很清楚。这只手机呢是分期购买的，那分成几期呢？六个月之内呢要完成全部的全额付款 ，six month installment plan。所以它是分成六个月来支付。那要不要支付利息呢 ？At zero percent interest， 完全不需要支付利息。那 notes 
，下面呢等于是需要消费者 Olivia 注意的事项，总共有五点。那我们看到第一点 ，safeguard this receipt 这一点。好 ，safeguard 这个字在这里是保管的意思。要领取他的手机的时候呢，就要出示原本的预购单 ，pre-order slip。好，那电子、数位或者影印的都不可以接受，他们通信行都不会接受的。再来，第二点要注意的就是，在分号后面 ，cancellations for personal reasons are not accepted。这里讲的很明白了。那一旦消费者已经预购了，就不可以临时取消。为什么呢？原因在前面 ，all products are ordered。Directly from the manufacturer, 通信行都是直接跟制造商订购的。那是根据 based on customer demand。那所以如果你下单呢又不要了，那通信行变得会很麻烦。啊，所以临时因为个人因素取消，通信行是不会接受的。再来第三个句子 ，release dates。这里所指的当然是手机它发售的日期。Release dates are set by manufacturers and may change. 那所以这个日期是可能改变的，通信行要厘清责任。制造商那边如果改变呢，我们不负责哦。We are not responsible for any variations in the advertised release period. 没有按照原本所说的那广告的日期如期发售，到时候通信行是不会负责的。在第四个句子，第四个句子告诉消费者。你是可以追踪到底什么时候呢？这个东西会到我们店里，我们当然也会在网站上呢，随时更新手机的预订到货日。好，所以这个 the estimated arrival date will be regularly updated， 所以是会定期呢去更新的。那 you can track the most current delivery status online， 消费者也可以自己去追踪到货这个交货的日期。好，那再来最后一点，就是关于退换货的说明。Devices can be returned or exchanged. Return 所指的就是退货。那 exchange 那当然就是换货了。好，以上呢是我们针对多益课程第二天内容所做的中文讲解。I'll see you next time. Bye bye. We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. We're on day two of our TOEIC unit, and we just finished talking about pre-order pickup instructions that Olivia got for her new phone that she ordered. It sounds like a pretty、uh, snazzy phone, a cool phone.、Um, it wasn't cheap, but if you get one with all of those、uh, great options, they usually aren't cheap. The problem is, is that、uh, sometimes these phones go out of Style so quickly, or、mm. they get slow too quickly, that it's hard. I've had this current phone, I think,、um, knock on wood, almost three years, but it's been great. I did break the screen, but that was my fault. But it hasn't had any problems. Usually, I have problems by now, but thank goodness, no problems. Let's take a look at these. Tom, I'll ask you first. Would you pre-order a phone, meaning you'd pay in advance, order in advance? But you'd have to wait for it to come. Would you do that? Why or why not?、Uh, no, I don't normally do that. I would not do that. I cannot imagine myself ever doing that.、Mm. I usually try to buy the cheapest phone that they have. Yeah.、Uh, I do use my phone for business purposes, and I do catch myself、uh, wasting time on the phone. But still, I don't really like to use the phone so much. I think there are other more important things to do. Then spend your day on a smartphone. So yeah, I just usually buy the cheapest one that they have. And the last phone I got, let's see, what was it, about eight thousand, nine thousand NT dollars or something like that. But the lady told me that、uh, they're going to phase out cheap phones in the future. You won't have a choice anymore. You'll have to spend like fifteen, twenty thousand NT dollars on a new phone. And maybe in that case, I may, might need to pre-order a phone. So hopefully the phone I've got now will last a long time. Yeah, I hope so.、Um, usually when I buy a phone, it's because my other phone is dead.、Mm. I can't use it anymore. That does happen. Well, that's my fault though. You don't want to wait until it's absolutely gone 
Then you're Juan Donla. So yeah, this particular phone. Um, my other one was starting to die. I could feel it, and I thought, "Oh crap! I'm going to have to go buy a, a new phone." But I got one that would last for a while, and it's been it's been good. I don't use all of its functions. I just wanted a lot of memory, and I wanted it to be the same brand and even the same type as the one I had before, so that I could quickly just start using it, and I wouldn't have any. A learning curve. A learning curve is how much time it takes you to get up to speed on the new,、uh, the new elements of something. It doesn't have to be a phone. Got to have a learning curve at a new job. You know, just trying to get comfortable with what you need to do. So here's another one. If you were Olivia, would you be satisfied with the terms and conditions of this pre-order? Why or why not? It sounds pretty reasonable. I guess I would be satisfied. Although maybe that warranty is not、uh, as good as I would have expected、yeah. because she's paying extra money. Well, and they say it was comprehensive coverage. Remember? Right. So yeah, it doesn't include accidents with your phone or losing it or whatever. So I probably would not be satisfied with that. Otherwise, though, it seems like a pretty good deal. And the clerk was pretty professional and pretty friendly in helping her. Make a decision like that. I'm kind of surprised that she didn't check any other phones out as well. They just、uh, kind of focused on this one model. There are other phones to pick from from different manufacturers. Yeah, I would have done some shopping around first. Well, maybe the guy was cute, and she, yeah, she, she, wanted wa to... she wanted to buy this phone because he was recommending it. We don't know, <laughs> guys. We're out of time, so we're going to sign off now.、Uh, we both really encourage you to go to our YouTube channel, join our Facebook group. Uh, give us a thumbs up, follow, and learn some more good English for English Digest. I'm Stephanie, and I'm Tom. Goodbye. Bye.